Hello, once again to another tutorial in, in uh, Game Maker. Last tutorial we were working on uh, the dismembering parts of the body for the zombie, and in this tutorial we're going to continue doing that. Okay, so um, let's go to the object enemy and go to its step event and go to the part where he dies, or what he does when he dies. Okay, so we just destroy him, uh, but instead of that, well, we still destroy him. But we'll also create three body parts. So I'm just going to say B1, B2, and B3. So B1 will equal a new. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oh, man. I keep getting confused. I forgot how to create a new object. Dang it. Wait. Okay, I think it's instance create. Okay, instance create. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, position, does that work? Position, oh, I think it's just an X and Y. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I haven't done Game Maker in a while, so I might be a little bit rusty. So, instantly create X and Y, and we're gonna create an object jumper. Jumper. Okay, and uh, just do that for B2 and B3. Okay. Excuse me. So B1 dot. What do we want to do to it? Uh, first, we want to give it uh, an image. So sprite index equals. Sorry, I blanked out. Uh, sprite zombie parts. Okay. There we go. And B2 will equal the same thing as well as B3. So they're going to all equal sprite zombie parts. And the only difference is we're going to set the image index differently. So image index for B equals 0. And for the rest, for B2, it's 1, 1. And for B3, it's 2. Okay, so we should be set right there. And actually, I forgot to do one thing in our jumper object. So go to our jumper object and just say image speed equals zero. Okay, let's go ahead and test this. I'm not even sure if this will work. Oh, dang it. What the heck? Let's close all this stuff. Get rid of all this junk. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's laggy because I'm uh, rendering something. Okay, uh, rotation, unknown variable, rotation. You see, uh, the reason that happens is because, uh, like I said in the previous tutorial, um, uh, I did not rename, I did not name that variable correctly, so, as I misspelled it. So that's a, you see how easy that happens? That can happen, it can even happen to me, so, it happens to me all the time. So to fix this, uh, I'm just gonna go to our object jumper and our speed, I mean, our step thingy, and go to our rotation, rotation. Friction, friction, okay, and it should work now. Okay, let's see if it works. As you can see, it sort of does. It it uh, spins for a while, and uh, yeah. You know what? Maybe we should. do something about this. I know what's happening. The ones that are negative. Yeah, okay, I know what's happening. Uh, so go out here, and since rotation speed can be negative and positive, uh, decreasing it by rotation friction isn't going to do anything. It's just going to make it faster. 
So what we want to do is make an if statement. So if rotation speed uh, does not equal oh, does not equal uh, zero, then do this. Uh, if ro rotation speed is speed is greater than zero, that means it's positive. If rotation speed is positive, then uh, then you can de decrement. Else, we're going to add the rotation friction. So either way, it's going to go come closer to zero. And uh, let's see. Mm. If let me think of something. Okay. Create a new variable. I'm just going to call it b for boolean. Boolean equals false. b equals true. Actually, p. I'm just going to say positive. Posit positive. Uh. As you can see, I can't, I can't spell. because I'm two years old. I'm just kidding, I'm not two, I'm six. Okay, so there we go. So uh, our Boolean is set to true if the number is positive, if our speed is positive, and it's set to false if it's negative. And all we have to do is say if rotation, actually let's just copy this if statement so we don't have to write all that again. If rotation speed is zero and uh, pause it and you're not positive which means you're negative that means uh, you were negative and then you became positive so that means uh, you skipped over zero then I'm just gonna set rotation speed equals zero. Okay, and do the same thing here, except else if positive. So that means if you were zero, if I mean, if you were under, if you were positive and then you were negative and they became negative, we'll set you to zero. So that should take care of our rotation speed, I think. So let's go ahead and test that out again. And uh, I'm just gonna adjust some of these. So uh, set this to one, maybe. Let's see how that works. Okay, let's see. Okay, unknown, okay, dang it, I did it again. Okay, I'm gonna just do this off cam. Okay, let's see if this works now. Kill the zombie. Okay, it looks like it did. Except uh, I'm gonna probably increase the friction for this rotation speed and center that head because that's sort of awkward. Okay, so uh, pretty much half a functional body gore parts. And another thing we can do is add blood stains all across the floor where we shoot them and where the body parts drag, and that would be pretty cool. And we can. Uh, what we can do is we can kill these objects once they run out of friction and rotation speed and paste them to the, our background, like our bullets. Uh, so I'm just going to go here uh, and decrease, actually increase this. I'll just make it like 9. And then go here. And... Here, I'm just gonna add a black part right here, just so it's more centered that way, and that should be good. Uh, next, I'm going to add blood. 
So when we shoot the zombie, blood will spray on the floor. Well, actually, I have to do some finishing touches on this. And uh, the body parts will spread blood or smear it. And that will probably add a cool effect. So hope to see you in the next tutorial. Uh, please give a thumbs up, rating, subscribe, do all that stuff. And thank you. Bye.